the Bills. Trade all that Dan some more goddamn questions. Dan Dick didn't come in today. Goddamn no paint skis, no goddamn order questions. So we're going to go over what the fuck I got. I got a three order questions left from the days of going, going by. And then I'll pull the next video online. But again, keeping these goddamn videos a little bit shorter. Although I said that, what, two days ago? And I, they they're both full length. So, I mean, it depends how good the material is in the comments box. But if you see in 12, 15-minute videos, don't be surprised, bra bras. I, when I got no content, dog ain't just pulling shit out of his ass. And I'm not doing all this extra work where people are like, why don't you do a video on this or that? Pulling this out and shooting this and going down the street. Dude, I'm not doing all that. I'm, te I'm just so you know, too. Yes, by definition, I am now a YouTuber, which I think that sounds gay as fuck. But I'm not a YouTuber. All I am is I am using the platform YouTube as advertisement, company advertisements. Because that's just the way of the goddamn times. I'm not a YouTuber to where I'm going to be doing tricks and stunts and I want to be going on my way to show shit. I mean, hell, even showing collection shit, unless it's a quick grab, that's it's a pain in the ass, man. I got to refile it through. What the fuck does he mean it's a pain in the ass? Dude, when you're dealing with pulling records and CDs all day long, the last thing I want to do is fucking go through and pull shit out, re it, move it out. I don't want to fucking have to do that. It's just annoying. It's like if you're at McDonald's, you make burgers all day long. You're the burger guy. And then they go home. Hey, what do you want to have for dinner? Oh, let me grill up a burger. That's probably the last thing you want to fucking do. So again, I'm not a fucking YouTuber. So yeah, I'm going for the, the, the easy, low-hanging fruit. Because this is just advertisement. I don't do this for goddamn fun. I'm not doing it for any other fucking reasons. It's for advertisement. So you guys decide on the goddamn content and what comes in. That's how it works. Makes sense? And the ones that don't like it, tough shit. I didn't ask you. I know someone in the com comments is going to say that too. Oh, but he does this. Oh, my God. Complain. I didn't ask you, motherfucker. Tape on that mouth shit, bitch boy. Didn't ask you shit. You just gave me the goddamn disclaimer in case any of the people with actual brain cells watching are kind of curious. That's the reason. Take that for whatever the fuck you will. Eric Martinio. Martinio. I can never pronounce his goddamn last name, but it's fucking French. Hey, Justin, are the hype stickers on the Perdition Temple LPs on the front and right side up now compared to before when those canoes put them on the back and even bottom of the plastic? Haha, ha, hope so. I mean, I, it wasn't on, on any of the pressings. It wasn't like uh, they weren't all upside. Like, God, dude, that's what I hate these fucktards today. Dude, if you're not to be completely insensitive, but dude, if you're that fucking stupid to where you're borderline classified as medically fucking retarded. Yes, the clinical definition in the goddamn clinical medical book, uh, clini clinically retarded. If you are that, if you are that legitimately, or if you're not that much smarter, and you're just not diagnosed. I'm sorry, you, you, don't, you, you don't get a job. You, you get the fucking stay home or whatever, and I, maybe you get fucking governmental aid. That's fine. I'm not trying to be totally cold. But there's people that... Dude, there's no reason you should be employed. You are too fucking dumb to have a job. And hence, and shit like that. That's why I have no sympathy for it. Dude, you can't even put a sticker. Like, the sticker goes, like, throughout in UK, right in the corner. That's where it's supposed to go. That corner, top, uh, upper corner. These fucking fucktards on the, some of the Perdition Temples, it wasn't the whole pressing. they done it on a few others. Dude, on the back side, they're literally upside down in the bottom corner. How do you even fuck that up? How? Because I understand, because you need work in a print shop, and I know how this goes, too. Print shop has nothing to do with records or anything like that. But there's a lot of hand assembly. They call it, um, what do they call that? Uh, department? Well, it's literally just people. And they, a lot of times, they get temps to come in. Uh, they call fulfillment area. That's what they call it. And you just literally sit down hand work where you're just assembling stuff by hand. That's what the uh, record pressing plants have, too. You, you think I'm a, I think some of you guys think it's machines and shit like that doing it. No, uh, the record spits off the machine. I actually have been to two record pressing plants and seen them in person. I got little scuffs on my record. That's another thing. Does it affect play? Well, no. Then that's what it is, bra bra. Do they just <laughs> they stack up like pancakes? All the goddamn records and the guy just literally pulling them off there, <laughs> stuffing a dust cover. I think that's a machine that does it. It's not. No. So fingerprints are a little scuff here and there. Yeah, that's probably half the goddamn pressing, dude. You see those all the goddamn time. So I get these fucking Steve Urkel nerds that'll show me the goddamn look dustiest of scratch. I just do. Does it affect play? If it don't affect play, I'm not replacing it, man. That's that's how this vinyl industry is. That's very fucking common, dude. I, I see brand new records all the time that got minor scratches on us. 
Now, don't get me wrong, if it's warped to a fucking taco, or if it looks like someone took goddamn sandpaper to it and said, fuck you to it, and it's skipping like a goddamn Super Bowl, okay, different fucking story. That's that's unacceptable. Well, yeah, you'd be surprised as how man, just uh, manual it's fucking done, especially the assembly part. I mean, Kate, that you can't even put a sticker in the right fucking place. Sorry, you do not, you are too fucking stupid that you do not deserve a job. Go back, live home with mama. Sorry, mama, you got you, you were you were born and dealt a goddamn lemon. Your little special fucking snowflake sucks. You're taking care of that motherfucker forever. Why do you know they're taking care of that motherfucker forever? If they can't even put a goddamn sticker on correctly, then there's no way in fuck they are legally, or at least shouldn't be legally, allowed to drive a car or do anything else. They're just fucking hands. And dude, that's common as fuck, dude. Check this shit out. That just reminds me, God damn it! when I was at an evil war. Dude, I'm in the goddamn Mac Daddy's line. Get that in the cafe, naturally, dude. Some ghetto-sounding fucking chick. I could just tell, barely fucking goddamn speak English. But I know she spoke perfectly. I can just tell by her slang-ass fucking tongue that it's just, oh God. Here we go. I order a goddamn coffee. I was like, yeah, with, with uh, two, uh, what did I say? Two sweet and lows in there. What, what, what? Two sweet and lows. Uh, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. Two sweet and lows. And don't give me that. You didn't hear it, shit. I said it just as loud as I said the rest of the goddamn order. You heard that just fucking fine. Um, can you, can, can you like repeat that again? Two sweet and lows. Um, I'm not sure if we have that fine stevia or any other calorie free sweetener that you have. Um, uh, like literally, basically, di literally didn't even know what the fuck I was talking about. Like, I'm a fucking alien from goddamn a different planet using telepathic fucking uh communication that she just couldn't understand. I was like, J just forgive it, just give me a black coffee, dude. I literally wanted to pull her out of the fucking window with a baseball bat, and just beat the stupid out of her. There is no reason, I, at the age of 10 years old, I knew what a calorie-free sweetener was. If somebody said that. I knew what that fuck that was. And you definitely know fucking fast food veteran here, motherfucker. So I motherfucking know. And I worked at Mac Daddy's, so I definitely know that too. Coffee is one of the biggest sellers there, especially first thing in the morning. When I worked there, I'm no joke, there was literally, I could think of, at the time, there were 12 to 15 people that would show up to almost to the minutes because they're on their way to work every single day and order a coffee, right? Just quick coffee. That's where they got their coffee every day, right? So what I'm getting at is it's extremely fucking common. And it, even if it was your first week on the fucking job, because on your very first day, you're going to have it at least multiple times. Somebody asks for one of those things, sweet and low or calorie free. That's what they want in their goddamn coffee. Instead of, or they get cream and sugar or black. Those are the options. You already got it. Even if... Even if that was your first day, there's no way I was your first fucking customer. Because I don't, how do you know that, dog? Maybe it was. I, 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 I ain't falling for that shit, homie. Because if you ever goddamn go into any of those places, and it is a fucking trainee, they got somebody helping them. And she had nobody fucking helping her. So cut the shit. She was, she was on her own and knew the job and didn't, never heard of it. Again, just another fucking fucktard that doesn't deserve a goddamn job. Well, damn, you sound like she was kind of young. She was 15 or 16. That's how old I was there. And I knew what that was that time. I'm sorry. You do not get a pass for being that fucking stupid. You, 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 quite frankly, you don't even deserve to live as far as I'm concerned. Or just stay caged up like a goddamn dog at mama's fucking house. And they take care of you for life. I guess a governmental check. Personally, I just think just euthanize the motherfucker. Useless anyways. And the, the world's overpopulated. What the fuck do we need more goddamn shit human species on this fucking planet? We'll be fine without them. The world ain't going to be missing anything. But I can't do that, dog. That's just that's just too mean. Hey, fucking t t tough love, tough love, motherfucker. God damn, the stupidity's out of hand. Joshua Kool Aid, Justin, I'm planning on going to Dead by Dog Fest. You better be, goddamn it. Put me down for a three concert shirt. Is that? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Can't just talk about stupidity, goddamn it. I mean, this is an You mean three shirts? Which case? What size, homeboy? Tell me, quantity means nothing. Predicting sizes is where it's at. Or do you mean a 3X, like a 3XL? Confirm on that and I'll get you marked down. But when you're coming out, if, you, if, you, if, that's, if, that, if that's a 3XL, don't be coming with that car fucking empty, homeboy. You're driving the car, make sure you got a passenger in that passenger seat, and I want jam tight 
shoulder to shoulder in the back seat. God damn it. You can fit three. That's if they're free, three decent sized uh, dudes. Or you can fit uh, four, four small people. You know, two chicks and two medium sized guys. You can squeeze them in there. Uh, don't be coming in with an empty car if you want to be a real goddamn go getter. Jam some motherfucker in the back of that trunk. Goddamn itty style. Sneaking into a fucking uh, drive through uh, drive through movie. That'd be a real go getter. Just make sure everybody's coming in and buying a ticket. God damn it. Steve Hill. J Dog, I've been ordered from hell since 2008, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. I watch most of your videos. Could you explain what it's like dealing with Central Media for the Christian reissue? Thanks. Uh, yes and no. I mean, there's really not much to explain because it wasn't really dealing with those goddamn poser ass fucking canoes. Uh, I mean, dude, there's no way whoever currently owns fucking Central Media, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it Sony? Uh, or is that what relapse or both or whatever? But I'm telling you right now, dude. Dude, they don't even, I guarantee you, whoever's working that operation, they don't even know who possessed this. Like, they're clueless as fuck. It's just some goddamn, it's probably with a chick from McDonald's that didn't know who this goddamn, what the sweet and low stevia fucking was. Calorie free sweetener, never heard of it. She, she, that was her next goddamn job. She's working at Central Media, ringing shit up. Got no clue of any of what this is. So I, I you kind of didn't go through them. It was this, uh, I don't know if he's a lawyer or whatever. His name was Ula, and he's in Germany. He represents a lot of the labels. For all the licensing, not just Central Media, a few others. But uh, you just went with him, and they have a fee, and it's like you know, it's actually pretty reasonable too. Uh, he's like, here's the list of uh, the stuff that I represent. Uh, that's how we got the Christians. That's how we got those Cannibal Corpse uh, cassettes. So obviously, he represents Metal Blade. That's how we got the immolation picture. Of this, which was better be fucking done soon. Goddamn, more dicking around. As soon as more fucking fucktards. Goddamn, Steve Urkel's working up there. Um, Christians, uh, Divine Empire, we got through him. You know, like I said, the Cannibal Tapes, the Immolation Pictures, which are not out yet. And I think a couple others that I'm forgetting, but they're all just your head, man. It actually, believe it or not, yeah, it was super fucking easy. So, didn't deal with too much of the guy. The, the actual canoes at Century Media, never dealt with them and don't, don't even want to. Well, this goddamn today's video, oh, so this is a fucking perfect one. Today's video is uh, the Jeff Walker goddamn interview. How'd you like that Jeff Walker interview? Already at 5,000 views. Goddamn. By 4 p.m. 258 comments. Uh, the very first comment. Uh, Evangel Moore. The look on the young guys' faces when they realize j Dog has zero interest in them and they will hardly be featured in an interview. Laugh out loud. Yeah, and I went a little too hard on them. I didn't mean to do that at the very beginning, looking back on it. But to my defense, dude, like, like, we pretty much just hit record, but Elcat's fucking 10 goddamn beers in and invited them in. Like, oh, it just looks cool to them, too. Like, because they're kind of standing there while I talk. Like, I was hanging out with Jeff probably 30 minutes before he shot the interview, shoot the show. I was like, oh, let's get this recorded. I don't want to blow my load all on before camera. And uh, they, they were kind of standing there, like, well, cool to them, too. I was like, I, I literally don't even know these guys' names. I, I don't even I remember what their names are. It's no disrespect. They were nice guys, and they took it well, you know, fist bumped afterwards and shit like that. But it's like, I don't know their names. They're on the records I don't care about. I had the first comeback record. Um, I forget what the hell it's even called. Um, I remember being okay. I, I need to go back and listen to it. I, I never, torn out I never listened to it. Um, I assumed it sucked because, goddamn, the 10-inch that came out before that, I told the story. The 10-inch that came out before that, don't remember what it's called. Uh, Surgical Steel, that was the, the first comeback album. I owned that. So the 10-inch that came out after Surgical Steel, not the, uh, there's two 10-inches. Not the 10-inch that's, uh, unreleased surgical steel songs but the one after that i i listened to the shop came down i was like this is tech. i don't like this at all no granted maybe it's an off day maybe if i was going back and listen to it, it's pretty good but that's why i didn't listen to torn arteries and torn arteries when i remember here it came out it's a cool ass fucking title maybe i'll check it out saw the cover i'm like oh god this fucking sucks so with all due respect two guys that are i'm pretty sure that do they say their age i'm pretty sure they're younger than me that are in the band that's that are on two records I don't care about. Like, I'm kind of like, I, it, it, it's, again, it's, it's, it's like the other guys in Sinister. It's no disrespect. I don't know what to ask you. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of yours. I don't dislike you. you again, they were nice guys like that. But again, if Sinister comes here, I'm interested in AAD or Odd Only. I, whoever else in that band, which I have no clue, I literally don't know what to ask you. I, I, I don't. I have nothing to ask you. I, you're, you're not on anything I'm a fan of. What am I going to talk to you about? Um. So that was kind of how that went down. So I, was, I wanted Jeff and, and Bill would have been ideal. I did meet Bill. On the, he was on the bus. He signed my shit. 
Brought my symphonies of sickness picture this. Ricky Putrefaction bootleg picture this. There's only boots are best, goddamn. There's there's only a boot of it. And my Heartwork CD. I specifically brought Heartwork CD because I had that that I had uh, Michael Amat sign that when he was an arch enemy in like 2000, 2001. So now all I'm missing is Ken Owen on it. Loba, Loba Her Ehrman. Laugh out loud. These Brits were quickly reminded how rude Americans are. <laughs> Not really, because think about it. I mean, even my normal personality is not, it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to make the video more entertaining. So if they took it any wrong, which I don't think so, because like afterwards, and I've text Jeff afterwards, like the following days and shit. Um, if they took it the wrong way, then th 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 that's on you, dude. Except it's like, it's, it's obvious. You talked to me before the fucking thing started and you're talking after this. You could sell it to you. There's a big difference. It's like, yeah, it's for the, it's for the goddamn camera, man. I'm trying to make it goddamn entertaining. Uh, leaving weakness. Not sure J Dog fully caught onto just dry ass Liverpool ball busting humor. What do you mean? I caught onto it fucking before the goddamn video started. I was actually very surprised as to how cool Jeff was. I, again, from what I heard, and I, I prefaced that too, because I, I'm sure, maybe, who knows, maybe somebody comments on that. But. People are like, oh, yeah, you said Jeff was a fucking dick, or I think what I said is arrogant. I did never said that. I said that is what I have heard from people that have met him. One guy, not going to say a name, he's a Cleveland guy that did an interview with them because he does a radio station. And he told me it was around the hard work time, and he said, uh, he basically said that. He's like, Jeff was very standoffish, came off as very arrogant, and a dick. That is what I've heard, and I had three other people besides this person who interviewed him that told me that. I never met him prior to that, so that was not me saying this. I said, this is what I heard. What somebody told me does not mean it's fact. That's what I heard. Now that I met the guy and got his number, I was, he's what honestly, dude, of, of all the big bands I met, He's one of the top five coolest guys I've ever fucking met as far as bigger bands, the Cannibals, the Deicides, the Morbid Angels, et cetera. People I've met all the years, the bigger boys. Yeah, he's he was easily the most personal, one of the cooler guys ever that I can easily hang out and talk with. OGLCZ, amazing seeing Jeff call dog a poser for his carnage love. Old bull doesn't give a damn. It's funny. Yeah, you're a poser for liking. It's like, you're the guy that released it. So what does that make you? <laughs> Suicidal grind. Ha, it's great to see Jeff knows how to bust balls. He's got a good sense of humor. Yeah, so that's why even on the course of the video, I because he said he's seen my videos. So, so yeah, I might fuck with you a little bit. He's like, you can try. I'll give it right back. He's like, he's like yeah, I'll do you or something like that. So he knew well ahead of time. He's just like, yeah, I'm all for it. Chaz, you want it to be like Recomputer Fracture Forever? Laugh out loud. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> both sides, I mean, yes and no. Human Brisket, this, this interview has knocked the camera equipment socks off and sent it home on a stretcher. Yeah, most of you, it felt like four or five times, but I, my, my, my boy, Fran the Man, over out jamming out all badass, he edited that shit out. You, you should have saw the one camera fall. I was getting fucking pissed. Wasn't yelling and screaming, stop my feet, but it, it was fucking obvious. I'm now I'm fully fucking goddamn frustrated because, yeah, what was I going to do though? Because we came upstairs, he invited us in uh, through text, and I found out upstairs the goddamn part that holds it is broken off. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, it was literally just sitting in my back seat of my car since the Wadi interview, Wadi the Exploited. That was a video I did previous, which was like seven or 10 days prior. I was like, how the fuck did it break in that goddamn time frame? So I'm fucking pissed. What am I going to do? Not, I mean, Lindsay wasn't going to stand there and hold it the whole time, which I thought that was possible too, but it didn't work out. Pluto, the God, the nervousness when Dog told Jeff to guess El Cat's age. My nervousness was who? I was nervous. Why the fuck would I be nervous? Josh Rodriguez during interviews tell El Cat. <laughs> Tape on that mouth shut. Yeah, I was getting a little irritated. I mean, you got to understand, dude. I mean, she was <laughs> kind of drunk. So, yeah, I kind of told her, yeah, you stop doing that. It's kind of annoying. 
But again, you can only say so much. You're apparently not married. And if you are, well, you go do that and tell me tell, tell me how much longer you're married. Probably ain't gonna last very long. Who's <laughs> dog drunk off <laughs> dog drunk off half a beer? First off, I had a few more beers prior to that. And second off, I, I wouldn't say I'd, I don't think I'd even be legally drunk at all. I think I had three beers prior to that. And I'm not one of those people, I'm not drunk, but they're like, oh, they can't even walk. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be the first person to tell you I got a buzz going on. And I know, I know when I can feel it because when I'm, like, if I'm sitting down, when I stand up, once I start walking, I can already feel it. And I, I don't know why people have a problem admitting that. Like, no names mentioned. I know some motherfuckers. Wait, God, but I don't got a drinking problem. It's like, dude, you're, you can't even walk. You can barely talk. What are you talking about? You're, you're smashed out of your fucking skull. I was by no means that, not even close. And again, if I was, I would have zero problem telling you with that. Telling you, I wouldn't give a shit. Metal Vault, a Ken Owen, Ken Owen interview would be the shit. I would 100% do a Ken Owen interview. The only problem is, he's obviously never coming here ever. The only way possible I would do it is if, uh, for whatever reason, again, UK's kind of on my bucket list. If you want to see that goddamn, uh, um, Jack the Ripper area, the tourist, and I, I did say that it wouldn't, there's no way it'd be 2025, 2026 at the earliest, and I'm not even saying 2026, it's probably more like 2030, etc. I wouldn't be against flying out to a fest or something like that in the UK. Let's say they did a fest, and my goal would be uh get good fucking bands. Again, desecration from England. I'd want to interview Ollie Jones, get Denial of God over there, since I don't know what the fuck those guys' deal is. You can't get them over here in the States. Uh, even a couple of uh, fests, I'm not going to mention names, but it's not too hard to figure out who asked them to do it for this following year, 2025. We're not doing shows in 2025. That's what they told them. They're yours out line. What do you mean? Why not? What the, what the fuck are you busy possibly doing? And if it's, we're writing a new album. Okay. To come over here for a fest and play one day. You get here on a Thursday. Let's say you fly in on the Thursday and let's say uh, you play on Saturday and you fly home Sunday. That's four days, dude. <laughs> you probably weren't even right in those days. What, what the fuck? Like, what are you possibly busy doing? So hopefully them in the UK, and I'd like to see them and interview them. Maybe not after the common album. We won't get that. <laughs> but um, if it was a case like that, and Ken Owens around the goddamn corner, because I do have Jeff's number now, I would text him. Yeah, if Ken's up for doing an interview, I would, I would def definitely do it. So in a scenario like that, yeah. But it, what is the likelihood that's ever going to happen? I mean, very low. Now, the event of me going to special health, somebody wants, and actually I did get one offer once, not going to say who, uh, was just for, I guess, just going. I don't know if you want me to interview the bands. Is one person did, for an overseas fest, uh, offer to fly me out there, uh, pay for my flight if I'd come to it. Uh, but I had to turn it down. I had something going. But I guess I'm just throwing it out there. It's like someone's doing a fest. It, I would only go if it's of interest and it had to be of value. Somebody wanted to bring me to a fest. I want you to interview all the bands. Let's send me that list of bands. It's got to be somebody I'm interested because I can't, I can't, I'm only going to go to something I'm semi interested to, even though if you are paying, is I would do it if, uh, yeah, you flew me out, flew Lindsay out. That's my cameraman, goddammit. And I'm not flying fucking to, to, to whatever, goddamn UK alone. I ain't doing that. Um, so I need two flight tickets and obviously tickets to the goddamn show and, Preferably a fucking hotel and some type of travel. And I would totally go and I'd interview all as many bands as you wanted. But as long as it was, um, it, it was mostly, it didn't have to be all. Cause again, like I've, I've interviewed, uh, say, say MDF, it was asked of me, Defeated Sanity. I, I'm not a Defeated Sanity fan at all. They were a super cool guy. You held that interview. Look how long that went on. I'm not even a fan of them by any stretch. I barely even listened to them. I listened to like one or two things. I'm like, ah, I don't really like this. But there was cool guys and it, and it went off well. So I could pull it off. But I don't want to go there like I got 30 interviews and literally it's all 30 bands. I was like, I, I never even heard at least Defeated Sanity. I did hear it and I knew it was like the, the sick shit, rah, rah. Well, at least had the general idea of what it was. Uh, but if it's like 30 black metal bands, I was like, I, 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 dude, forget hearing of these. I've never heard of them. And I can tell by looking at it, I have zero interest in it. We could sprinkle one or two of those in there. I would do it. But it'd be more enticing. And I'd be up for doing it. If it was like, oh, there's six bands I, that I really want to see. You, I'm not even going down the list. You guys should fucking know who the hell that is. But reincarnate fucking uh, Atomizer. I definitely want to interview Jason Healy. Uh, get over uh, get Destructor from goddamn uh, Australia. Get, get that Glenn interview, goddamn it. Watch out for that new Destructor. It's coming out any goddamn day. The set's already fucking here. Just waiting for the goddamn CDs. The LPs will be out, who knows, in a few more months, I'm assuming. Hopefully, they'll check the release schedule. 
uh, Gospel of Horns, you get them reunited. Um, and I'd interview fucking Howitzer. If they was shit like this, you had some Isle of Gods playing, and I'd interview Pope, preferably Aster and Ustu. They're both brothers, too, in case you didn't know that, and in case you haven't got damn give a fuck. Interview both of them, that'd be great. Got Desecration playing, interview Ali fucking Jones. If it was that right there, I'm like, if somebody wanted to fly me and Elcat out there and put me up in hotels, I'll sh shit, yeah, I'll fucking come on out. Hell's bells, yeah, I'd come out and do that. And, um, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibilities. I've had, I've had offers thrown out there, but, uh, Another, oh, I've had another one in California uh, thrown out there, too. But it was, dude, I'm not going to that. There's all this war metal shit that I, I could care less about. I was like, dude, I do not like one goddamn thing on there. That's 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 a blow my, that's a, I'll do it. But you're flying me out. You're flying Elcat out. You're 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 paying me a rental car. That way I'm a lone leisure. I need an Airbnb uh, for all the nights. And you're paying for that. And it's $1,000 in my pockets. Because that's going, I, there's just, this is no pleasure. There's not one fucking van here I care about. Fine. I'll poker face my way through it. I'll I'll write up some scripts or whatever ahead of time for it. I use if it's that. It's like, if it's entertainment, I'm then yeah, I'm willing to do it. You know, I don't need no pay. I was like, because I'm going there to have a good time too. But if it's a miserable fest, like dude, I don't even like any of this fucking junk. I know what your hell's headbangers do. This guy just listened to blast me by hair and archco. Not even close, bra bra. Check the goddamn wall behind and the t-shirts and the vids. That's what the dog listens to. That's that wigger fetus. Goddamn it, that crappy CC. He likes that poser shit. Mm -hmm. Fallen angel of doom. Dog don't fucking care. I know, I know that's what you're all thinking before. I'm, oh, don't you, I, I, that's not what he listens to. You know, he actually thinks for himself. Mm -hmm. Sure do, homeboy. So yeah, if it's just that type of fest, you're paying. Honestly, bro, bro, that's as bad as going to see Pantera. So I mean, yeah, I got no winch. That, that, that's that's a. That, I'm there. This is work now. So I'm not having a good time. I'm fucking miserable. I'm there with gun phones on those fucking on the goddamn Dumbo ears. So, yeah, throwing that out there, too, in case you're, anyone's interested, which I doubt they are, which is <laughs> fine by me. They don't want to go to it anyways. Comes with surgery. I got my skin in the morning. Play the goddamn 